and I started to turn, and that sound roared at me, and it's just like, oh, it's just like something that grabbed my heart and just crushed all. I could listen to Mountie Browning tell stories all day long. Putting out a little mineral today and some trail cameras on a piece of private I can hunt. Going to try a little experiment on this farm. I got two different types of minerals. I got the tried and true, like the Lucky Buck and Trophy Rock mixture. Tons of people have recommended that to me. And then I got this little homemade uh, mixture that I made. I'm going to kind of put uh, both types out in different areas, obviously, and see which one does better and just see if there's a big difference. Also, I don't know if you can see it back there, but I got my e-bike. I haven't used it a whole lot. I used it a decent amount during turkey season, but I'm excited to uh, try to try it out and see how much uh, time it saves me. I'm sure I'll get some comments about this is private land. I'm using an e-bike and putting minerals out. But uh, yeah, at this point in my life, I just don't have the time like I used to when I was younger. So um, I'm, I hunt more of these little private land spots close to my house because I oftentimes just don't have time to get to a piece of public around here. Um, and if it's better hunting on this private, that's where I need to be to get a deer and get back to the family. So that's what I'm doing. You know, I don't, I always thought I wanted a trailer for this thing. I don't have one, but I thought, man, I got this sled. It should work just fine, but we'll see if it works or not. Here we go. A little bit rough going through there, but we made it. So now I got to just get through these uh, real tall weeds here and the mineral site, this one's already started way back in there. Usually right before deer season, the farmer bush hogs all this, but they haven't done it yet, obviously. Made it. I had to uh, dump the bike about 40 yards over there and, and uh, just use my sled the rest of the way. But here is the old mineral site here. You can see it's not getting used a whole lot. There's a couple of tracks in there and I just hauled the stuff out here with the sled work pretty good need to utilize the sled a little bit more okay let's get this puppy all situated here probably gonna make this side a little bit bigger here's my homemade mixture Yeah, I just got to work it all into the ground now. I had another old bag of just something. I don't know what it was, some kind of deer mineral, like a, like a homemade or a uh, small company made it. I don't even know where I got it, to be honest. I think someone gave it to me, so I had it for years and not used it. It may not even be good anymore, but I went ahead and threw it in this pile, too. So dry, the ground's hard. Hope we get some rain here in the future. I I really do like. I know this is hard to believe, but as I'm getting older here, I just care more about the animals and their health, and if they're doing good. I really am not doing this to hunt over it or do anything silly like that. I just want to produce the most healthy herd on this particular area, and you know. Maybe minerals are helping a little bit. So if I can help a little bit, perfect. So all I can ask for, right? This mineral helps some fawns and a doe get through the summertime and have a good, good chance of being better 
in the hard winter's months, then that's a win in my book. Okay, I'm about ready to call her good because I'm on a limited amount of time here with the boys. And I want to hit one more spot on this farm. Whew. Let's go put a trail camera up now. Nothing like poison ivy. And I do get poison ivy, so this will be good. I think it's the best option for a, the tree, though. It's bigger than the camera. Just putting a regular SD card camera up. I don't, I have no reason to put a cell camera up. Exodus has these, you're able to put in a code on here. I do like to put the passcode on these cameras. Get the strap all tucked away everywhere. Okay. Let's get some of this brush around here to get it out of the way so I don't get 2,000 pictures of brush. I also last year cleared a little path out into the uh, there's a bean field back here, or corn, or it's crops, whatever. Sometimes it's corn. And I cleared a path through there so the deer could get in and out real easy. But that looks pretty good. I'm pretty centered here. Camera's perfect. I think I'm gonna call it good enough. We got this uh, old shooting house up here that's been up here for probably 10 years and gotta go take care of some of the, make sure there's no wasp in it. There's wasp in it every year, but I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that right now that we want to worry about it. I mean, my cousin built this many, many years ago. I don't know how long this thing's been up here. It's been a long time though. Okay, we had one nest that had some wasp in it, but I got that taken care of now. So this is it. I cut one buck out of here, and this is where me and Maddie were hunting last year when she uh, hit that one buck and we didn't find it. So it's been a good spot for us. It probably needs to need some love and care, but yeah, me and dad may come in here uh, one nice day and kind of refurbish it a little bit. Needs a new ladder. I'd like to put some windows in it so we don't get so many animals in here, but I don't know. A little, little, little shack has some memories in it. Works pretty good. Made it back. I don't think I'm going to buy a trailer. I'm just going to use that little sled. It it pulls good. I can see that those trailer like bouncing a lot through the rough stuff. And that thing just kind of slides over everything, so... Cool. So the next spot that I want to put is just right over here. A lot of times the farmer won't plant all the way to the edge of the woods, but he looks like he did this year, so I can't take my bike or anything. So I'm just gonna have to use the old, the old uh, man haulers around. I'm gonna be testing out the strength of the old Osseo mobile hunter pack here. <laughs> I think it'll fit in here. Man, everything gets so hot in the summertime. Fits in there like a glove. Yep, no problem. So I just cleared out this little area by this creek. There's like a drainage right here. I don't think the water ever gets up here on this high spot. There's plenty of vegetation growing uh, down this little, it's almost like an island with uh, drainages around it. Field edge is 10 yards to there. There's a bean field right here. There's all kinds of deer tracks in the bean field. I cleared off a real nice path so the deer could get down into this mineral real easily. So my my, my thinking is they'll be out feeding. They'll kind of mingle their way in here, get some mineral in them, go back out and feed them. They may bed right in here at night. Um, I don't see them bedding right here during the day, at least not on a bean year. But I think this is going to be a really good sign. I'm trying to kind of get all the little vegetation that's in the ground out of here. I think I got it. So let's get the minerals out. This is my Lucky Buck uh, Trophy Rock mixture. 
test here versus the homemade jobby. And that stuff just smells in a good way smells. Bag of trophy rock. <laughs> a lot softer right here though so shouldn't take it long all right i think that's good enough for who it's for now i gotta put the trail camera up looks pretty good my hopes is that with these two cameras on this farm you know it's not a lot of woods here not that great big a farm there is some distance between uh, the two spots just because of the crop fields are real big out here but um, my hopes is these are only two cameras i run out here get a good uh inventory of what's out here and just keep hunting man not worry about cameras quite as much this year okay we're all set up head back to the truck Hopefully get him on camera this, this uh, year. That's a big track right there. I elected not to put any corn out. I just, there's so many coons anymore. I think the coons get to it before the deer do, and then you're just feeding the coons the whole time. They'll find that mineral lick naturally. That lucky buck has enough aroma to it. I think it'll be fine. I will say with the uh, legal, the legal issues with minerals, got to check your state regs. Indiana, it's 10 days before you hunt the site. You have to uh, have the deer not coming to it. I talked to the conservation officer locally here. And the way he does it on his properties, he said that he takes a piece of plywood or something and just right before season or right before he's going to hunt, 10 days before, he goes and throws a piece of plywood over the, uh, the mineral site. So that's probably what I'll do too. It's not really an area I'm going to be hunting anyway. It's literally on the field edge here. Got her all taken care of. Should have brought water with me, I didn't, but oh well. I think those are gonna be two really good spots. I I think that'll be good for that farm. And it'll give me a good inventory. Hopefully there's one there worth chasing this year. Last year there was not one on that farm worth chasing a bunch of small bucks and maybe like a maybe a two-year-old 100, 110 inch buck. Um, but nonetheless, we are going to find out. Now I gotta get the boys from my sister's house and get some water. Did you miss me? Did you miss me?